Hi everyone! Welcome to Crafting with Julia. I'm Julia and I'm so glad you tuned in today. If you enjoy my video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love to get feedback from my viewers. Also, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can be notified of all my newly released videos. Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I invite you to join my Facebook group called Crafting with Julia's Creative Community, where you can be part of my crafting family. All of those links are in the description below this video. It's the third Friday of the month, and you know what that means. It's Minnie's Challenge Time, hosted by Corey from Crafted by Corey. So after you've viewed my video, go on, go on over to the playlist and show them some love. The link to Corey's channel and to the playlist are listed in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. I have six mini DIYs for you today that are perfect for your Valentine's Day tiered trays.
You got me feeling kind of crazy. You got me feeling like my head is spinning around. The way you look is so amazing, amazing. I could stare into your eyes for hours and hours. Everything is kind of hazy. We're just dancing in the dark in the flashing lights. I know you can't hear what I'm saying, I'm saying. So I'm just gonna hold you closer. You take me higher when we're together. It feels like you set my whole world on fire. I know I want you. I know I need you here. You make me wanna fly, I'm not coming down Maybe it's the way you move, babe, move, babe You've got that body and that smile Make my head spin round You got me feeling kind of crazy You got me feeling like my head is spinning around The way you look is so amazing, amazing I could stare into your eyes for hours and hours Everything is kind of hazy We're just dancing in the dark in the flashing lights I know you can't hear what I'm saying, I'm saying So I'm just gonna hold you close you take me higher when we're together It feels like you set my whole world on fire I know I want you, I know I need you here
Don't know how you do it to me But you make me wanna fly, I'm not coming down Maybe it's the way you move, babe, move, babe You've got that body and that smile, make my head spin round So I went on my Cricut and I cut out an X and an O and then I traced it onto wood and I cut it out with my scroll saw. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint the O in the red and the X in the white and then I'm going to distress it. So I want the O to turn out to be white and the X is going to be red. So my first coat is going to be red for the O and white for the X. Now I'm going to put a coat of candle wax on the top because that's how I am going to distress it. So I'm gonna put some, a layer of candle wax and then I'm going to add my paint on top of that and then when it dries, I'll be able to distress it. I'm just going to take my scraper and I am going to scrape the paint off. And where I put the wax is where it scrapes off very easily. So this side is where I put the wax and see how easy that's coming off. This side I did not put the wax and it's not so easy to take that paint off. This is from the Dollar Tree and I am going to paint it with Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in the color of Parisian Gray. So this is dry now and I went online and I downloaded this buffalo plaid uh, pattern out of cardstock because I wanted buffalo plaid in there and I did not have that on hand so I went online and I downloaded it. 
So what I did was I just cut a square, a two and three quarter inch square, which I am going to glue in the center there. This heart is from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to put that right there in the corner. So now I'm just going to take this ribbon here and I'm going to make a pretty bow for the top. So with my Cricut, I cut out tag images and I traced it onto wood and I cut them out with my scroll saw. So I'm gonna make these tags to go along with my beaded garland. So I want to have these tags distressed. So I'm gonna start with the red as the base and then I'm gonna distress them and cover them in white and um, I want the red to show through. So I'm going to first give the first coat of, um, of red paint. My tags are all dry and I'm ready to distress them. I already went ahead and distressed the red one and now we're going to distress the white one. As you can see, this is the side I put the wax on. This is the side that I did not put the wax on so you can see the difference. See this is not distressing, but this side is dressing very nicely. Okay, now I am going to put my, my um, vinyl on. So with my Cricut, I printed these out on vinyl. And we're going to now attach these to the tags. There's my tags, and now we're ready to put the garland together. So, I cut a 36 inch piece of twine, and the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make the tassel. So I'm using a five and a half inch piece of cardboard as my template, and I'm just gonna go around maybe 20 times with some twine.
pull that off and cut the tassel. And now I am going to turn it around. So I want to cut these two tails off. And now we're going to turn it around like that. Now we're just going to just loop it around. Okay, so there's our tassel. And then in the end, I will cut this uh, to however length I want it. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're going to put this through the hole. So first I am going to use some painter's tape to make a rigid end. So I'm gonna take a little bit of painter's tape and put it on the end here. And that will act as my rigid end so that I can poke it through that hole. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to tie this in a knot. Now we're ready to bead the garland. So again, I am going to take another piece of tape and put it on this end. Now I have 20 millimeter beads that I had already painted. Um, so I have red, white, and natural. So I'm going to just alternate the beads. So I'm gonna start with the red. go. Okay. So I'm going to pull that through. Then when I get down to here, this part is going to go through that hole also. Next is going to be the natural, then the white, Okay, so let's go back to the red. So I started with a polka dot. So I made five polka dot and five plain.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again real soon. Happy crafting!